Hello and welcome back to our 8K Audio Linear 7 video series. My name is Lars Reime and I'm the product manager for 8K Audio. Today I want to show you the network control options you have with our 8K Audio Control DSP software and the Linear 7 speakers. For this video we are using a Linear 7 118 Sub A and a Linear 7 112 FA mid-high unit. Don't concern about the short pole we are using in this video, it's just for the screen design because we are filming in 16 to 9 and not in 9 to 16. In the videos before I have shown you how to wire all the boxes with the cables and we have already done this here. New to the lineup is this laptop which is connected via uh, Ethercon to our subwoofer and this goes via daisy chain to our mid-high unit. So to check out all the functions of our control DSP software let's have a closer look on my desktop. After downloading the DSP control software from hkaudio.com, the install wizard guides you through the installation process and when finished installation you will be able to open this DSP control software and you will see the network control window. The network control window gives you an overview about the connected speakers, in our case it's the L7 112FA and the subwoofer. You get information about the MAC and IP addresses. You see if the box is active or not. You also have the possibility to mute uh, the connected speaker while pressing the mute button. So you get a feedback when it's a uh, red light. And you also have the so-called wink button, which allows you to identify the speaker from distance. So if you press the wink button, the speaker LEDs are flashing so you can see from your FOH place uh, where your chosen speaker is. You also can open the tools menu where you can set a software password that allows you to lock the software for uh, unauthorized use stage uh, from other colleagues on the stage. So uh, only people who are knowing the password are able to change any speaker uh, adjustments. You also can build groups. In the current state of the software you are able to build mute groups so you can connect several speakers from your system to a group and mute them at once. And you also have access to a so-called demo mode which allows you to check out the software functionality without connecting any Linear 7 speaker. While pressing this green arrow on the right side you will open the unit control window which allows you deeper access to the speaker. So on the left side you see main, speaker and DSP out. So first we have a closer look on the main view. On the left side of the main view we have the unit name where we are able to rename the speaker. We also can choose the speaker we want to adjust. So uh, there's no need to go back to the network control center. You can do everything from the unit control window. You also see the current chosen preset, uh, the name of the preset and on which preset storage place it's actually stored. You can load the uh, current presets from the speaker and also store your preset you have done into the speaker. In addition, you can store your presets you have done for a speaker on your hard drive to load it into another box you will connect later on. Then you have the speaker fader where you can adjust the volume. You can use a fader or you can use uh, this field to type in the volume. You also have a mute button and an invert button. Same functionality you have for the DSP out, which allows you to adjust the signal which is uh, goes out from the DSP out to a, a third party box. And you have an overview of the input and output limiter. To make deeper adjustments to the speaker, you need to go into the speaker view. Here we have a window which shows us the equalizer in a graphic way. We can make it a bit bigger to make adjustments inside this window. We can do screenshots of our uh, equalizer and here you see the 10 filters we have. We, in addition we have the high pass and low pass filter 
There are different types of filter you can use, from bell to notch to all pass, low, high shelf, band pass. You can choose the frequency, you can choose the Q factor and also the gain. In addition, on the right side you find the delay, so you can choose uh, the delay for the speaker. Uh, you can use the fader for it or you can type in the value directly into that field. Next to the delay you can adjust the speaker limiter. Same with the delay. You have a fader and also you can type numbers into that field. On the right side we have uh, the all on speaker fader for the main volume and the mute button and the invert button. The DSP out window shows you exactly the same but this Adjustments you are doing here are only affected to the DSP out and not to the connected speaker. About the DSP out I will explain in an upcoming video more. Thank you for watching this video about the HK Audio Control DSP software for our Linear 7 speaker setup. See you soon!